yeah, so that gets to the other part of kind of my work, um, which is Cosmos. Okay. Uh, Cosmos is a cooperative community that is um, dedicated to creating a, a hub or a home, like on the web and also locally in local local spaces for the arts and culture and consciousness of of an integral world, an integral age. Uh, and so as part of Cosmos, we're, we're, we have a publishing initiative, uh, and that includes a, a, a journal that is uh, currently online. It's called Metapsychosis. Mm -hmm. That's been publishing since uh, 2016. Uh, we publish poetry, articles, essays, stories, uh, artwork, um, music. Uh, and then we recently launched a, a publishing imprint called Untimely Books, which is for books. Uh, and uh, so in, in April, we, we published our first book, which is a science fiction novel called Plenum by, uh, by a Canadian author, Jeffrey Jen Edwards. Uh, we're, we're on the verge of publishing our second uh, book of essays by uh, Brian George called Masks of Origin. We also have um, some poetry books uh, coming by Maia and uh, Heather Fester. These are other artists and other, other writers that I've been working with. Um, a book of philosophy of language by Lisa Morosky. Um, a kind of adventure story novel uh, called uh, The Key, Key to the Highway by Richard Andrews. And a, num a number of other works. Uh, Ma Mary Thaler has a, a poem, a uh, long poem also, an amazing long poem called Ulf, Hil Ulf Hilder. Um, and my book will be published sometime in the future. And uh, so uh, that's two aspects of, of Cosmos. We also have a discussion forum called Infinite Conversations, which uh, you joined recently. Thank you for, mm -hmm. for that. And there we've been cultivating like philosophical conversations and, and also a lot of organiz community organizing uh, that we, we do there for the, for the cooperative. Um, we have a few other initiatives, a few other projects, but what I really wanted to do was to create a context, to create like a, uh, a community and a context for the kind of work I want to do and the, the kind of work that I'm attracted to, which like we've been talking about, like there's a lot of art out there and a, and a lot of it is, um, there's a lot of good art, I think. Um, but a lot of times I think it also reinforces the status quo in some way. Like it, it, it's, it, it's, it's not kind of pushing the evolution forward. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested in work that is like, helping us grow and expand and become like more responsive and responsible members like of of the world and of being and so um so that's how i wanted i wanted to publish my work through a cooperative because in a, in a cooperative i believe like we're all equals and we all have power and we're learning how to share and work together for common aims, common purposes. I think that, that that's the kind of art that, that I want to create on a larger scale, okay. is how people work together and the kind of society that we live in. Uh, so that's what I see Cosmos as. And, um, and so my poetry is a contribution. It's like my, my offering you know, to both the cooperative Cosmos and the larger Cosmos, the real Cosmos. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I was happy to meet you through the Sri Aurobindo connection, and also to learn about your work as, a, as an artist and as a writer, um, and that you're also interested in time and art, alas art, time and art, because like I mentioned, like when we first spoke, time is an important, has been an important piece of my work, and in that poem, I am the singularity, I, I mentioned time a few times, uh, and the question of time, I think is, Really central to like how this evol to this ev to the evolution and to and to the experience of consciousness. Uh, so I don't know. I'm I'm curious to learn more about your work too, and uh, you know why time is important for you, and what you know what art means for you, and how um, like how we can link together, you know, our different 
uniquenesses <laughs> and our different projects and <laughs> like you know my followers know that i am a study history and art history so i am very connected with the ancestors and new consciousness you know there is a different kind of consciousness and it's not just in the present like because you can go back in the past and find it there yeah. it's obvious like that there's talking about the same thing that we're talking about and that we're experiencing and you know we could find our ancestors and like in the future people will look back and say we'll also be the ancestors <laughs> for the future so like i think that part of what maybe this crisis is about in the world i know one story about it that, that i like it's a myth it's a kind of a mythological story but i think it's there's an element of, of truth in it, which is that it's also the birth of a new being. It's also like the birth of a new kind of way of being. And uh, like for many, many reasons, like we've had to go through a deep historical process and have had to evolve or like had to go through history and with all the, all the drama that that brings, like in order for this consciousness to kind of break out in the world, and I think now, like, it's not just one poet here and another poet there, one spiritual teacher here, another one there. It's much, I think it's growing more. And I think partly because of the internet, we're also able to, um, to find each other and to resonate with each other and create more of a field. Like, it's not just in our individual selves. It, it's, our, our individual selves are like vessels, conduits, you know, they're nodes, but it's really a field. It's a global planetary um, phenomena, uh, which uh, I, I see part of what I hope Cosmos is able to contribute and able to do is to bring more coherence to that and more like organization. Like so that it's not just one group doing something here, another group doing something here, and they're not connected to each other. Like we need to have a coherent like field in order to in order to like um, uh, catalyze, like in order to catalyze that that evolution, like because I think our societies have to become based on that consciousness, like the integral integral consciousness, uh, rather than or kind of growing out of the fear based consciousness and yes. the separative consciousness. Yes. Like, what if our whole societies were centered on integral consciousness rather than fear-based consciousness how would everything be different how would our economy be different how would our social lives be different how would our technology how would we use it differently um how would our international relations be different like <laughs> there's so many things that i would see completely transformed if the basis in consciousness were unitive rather than separative and i'm not the only one saying that Many people are saying that. So if we can turn that awareness into um, actual kind of structures and ways of being that are both personal, like in our personal lives, in our intimate context and global at scale, then I think, well, I don't know, then we could really make art, you know, then, <laughs> then, the, yeah. then we could imagine what we could do. Yes, um, about Cosmos, I mean, I went to the page and I love it. It's a huge pro project, like you say. Uh, uh, are you planning to do this in out, out of the virtual world? Or you just want to leave it in virtual world because it's coming the, what is called it? I don't remember, this reality, um, what they are doing? Meta, the metaverse. <laughs> The metaverse? Yes. Yeah, like you are going to use these kind of glasses and then you are going to go inside a new world reality that they say <laughs> that in the future we are all, we are living in this. The, the metaverse, is right. <laughs> it's metaverse? Okay. Yeah, I, I would like to offer an alternative to the metaverse. I would like, I, I, I am interested in the, the omniverse. The, the omniverse is the universe of everything. So oh, I believe we will have a metaverse. The metaverse already exists. It's already being built. Mm -hmm. And maybe we're going to have goggles and maybe we're going to have brain implants. And uh, there's going to be some way that we 
are able to exist in, in virtual reality and there's going to be real estate there and, and economy and <laughs> there's going to have to be different kinds of rules and uh -huh. uh, all that's going to happen but i don't i think that that's only a part of reality that's only the part that's going to be it's going to be um uh like enacted you know by the those particular technologies uh, however, we don't need those technologies <laughs> to have a, a full being and a full and, and to realize like the supramental, like to realize the divine. We don't actually need the metaverse. <laughs> like uh, I'm more interested in both, both in the high, in the combination. So the last six years, we mostly cosmos has mostly been a internet community and people like in different parts of the world and we do reading groups and discussions and collaborative projects like writing like the books that we've created but um in these next in the next phase of i think becoming more real is that we do things locally and so in where i live in colorado i want to um, find other people that want to be part of a community that's based in this kind of creative creative approach like this creativity that we share and also support each other in doing that um, and I would love it if we had places all over the world where there's mm -hmm. groups that yes. are you know coming together to uh, to work on to work on this new project like this new meta project or something like that uh, and that it's local but also connected globally so that we're able to communicate like we're doing right now and we're also able to travel and we're also able to learn from each other um that that's my dream but also that's that's just an idea you know and it's not up to me exactly like it's it's up to what everybody wants to do you know like we have to have a community that is um, creates a, a field of intelligence, you know, that's greater than the individual, includes the individual, but is also greater. So I'm curious, what, you know, you've been do, working on Al Asar. You've also been forming communities online. You've been sharing your knowledge. You've been sharing your passions. And like, how do you see, like, how do you see it evolving between the virtual and and the local, and um, yeah, and, and what kind of opportunity, you know, possibilities do you see for collaboration as well between um, ourselves and between, you know, people that share this idea of, you know, a, an evolution of consciousness? Yes, mm. what I see is that um, What I what I observe is, yeah, this kind of I know Cosmos and Al Azhar can collaborate. Of course, they can collaborate if we are open heart. If we work from the heart. Maybe that's the most important thing. You know, I mean, <clears throat> we can have a lot of ideas about what, about evolution, about the world, etc. But uh, in the end of it, like unless there's a feeling, a warm feeling here, <laughs> you know, <laughs> then uh, it's uh, it's a lot of talk, you know. And I, I've also felt that too. That there's a feeling quality, like that, when I can work with somebody, mm -hmm. that um, it's not that our ideas are the same. Our ideas can be very different. Yes, exactly. Our, ident our identities are the same. We could be very different, male, female, straight, queer, black, white, whatever. But I think more it's like what's important is that there's a common feeling, like that the, our hearts are open, like you said, and that you know we could, we're willing to be influenced by each other. We're willing to be influenced. Um, we're not just like my way or you know me. <laughs> that kind of stiff. This. Yeah, um, let me tell you that for me that is difficult, you know, that for me is difficult, <laughs> but it's okay to open the heart, it's okay, but it's for me it's difficult to accept 
the difference when I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know how yeah. to say it. You know? I understand. That's part of that's part of it, right? That's part of the path. It's yeah, it's part of the game, it's part of the path, it's part of the transformation that we have to do, like say the modern, you know? We are slow and we have to be like transform every atom in our body anywhere and like just patiently like with patient like being like like growing and growing and just observing you know it's so beautiful and one statement is like nobody is perfect and mm -hmm. i i think that is very important to when you want to collaborate, co collaborate and to work with others, and when you want to expand yourself to another countries and another cultures, you have to be like, I'm not a conqueror, yes? I not come here to teach. And that is very important because people have fear, of course, no? especially from Americans <laughs> that have like, they like to teach them way, you know, <laughs> or, yeah, yeah. or from Spanish, you know, that came here to Mexico to, to kill many people, you know, to say it. It's like, I don't have the only truth, you know, and then we can learn together, you know, and when you want to expand yourself to another culture, it's like, yes, it's like you go there with this open heart that you say, and you say, I am here to learn from you. And I am here to, to give you a space for you to offer your, your being, basically, yes. And it's mm -hmm. what I see about Cosmos and Alas Heart, yes. 